EGD stands for esophago gastro duodenoscopy, or an upper endoscopy as patients are prone to know it by. This involves the insertion under sedation of a fiber optic scope down the throat, down the esophagus, into the stomach, and as far down as the uh, middle portions of the duodenum, where the small intestine starts. Because of the very good quality of the pictures that we're able to obtain, we can identify even very uh, subtle changes in the lining of the esophagus and the stomach and the duodenum. Upper endoscopy is the single most important test that we do for the evaluation of most of our foregut problems or reflux problems. Uh, it is the single most effective test and one reason is it gives us such a good look at such a broad area and it also allows us to do biopsies through the scope. So if I see an abnormality at the lower end of the esophagus, let's say that I, I am concerned that the patient may have a condition such as Barrett's esophagus, which can only be proven by biopsies, I have an opportunity to place a very fine biopsy forcep through the scope and take very precise biopsies, no more than a pinch, but plenty of tissue under the microscope for my pathologist to be able to make the diagnosis. So without fail, a reflux patient who's considering additional treatment should have an upper endoscopy as part of their evaluation. In fact, I typically advise patients that if they're only going to have one thing done in their lifetime of treating their reflux disease, upper endoscopy is probably the single thing they should have done, primarily because it does allow us to screen for a Barrett's esophagus and look for other conditions that may offer another alternative. In addition, we use measurements that we take at the time of endoscopy to then plan later testing such as uh, acid testing or pH testing. We use the measurements that we take at that time to know where to put the device later in order to measure the degree of acid reflux that that patient has. Upper endoscopy is typically done under moderate sedation. It might be propofol or it might be a combination of other drugs, but typically the patient is very comfortable, unaware of the entire exam, and recuperates very quickly thereafter. The patient's going to need to have someone to drive them home because they've just had a deep sedation, but the complication risk from endoscopy is very, very low, and it's a very safe procedure.